Hello, this is Bern, and on today's episode, I'm gonna share with you what makes you so attractive to virtuous, exceptional, one-of-a-kind men. Stick with me. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart-centered, and successful women how you can attract the guy and the relationship you want as a direct result of stepping into the most alive and the most feminine version of you without the need to play gimmicks or manipulate. Now, when I ask you the question, what do you think makes you so attractive to virtuous men? Well, the first thing I have to define for you, this specific conversation's sake is what is a virtuous man? A virtuous man is a guy who is noble, courageous, who has the capacity to be generous, formidable, competent, who has kindness and at the same time can make things happen, who has an edge but also has this generosity and ability to serve others, not just himself. If that's the kind of guy you're interested in, let me share with you something important. He's not gonna be interested in the same things that a guy who's a player or just wants a mediocre relationship wants. So here's a few things that that, type, that guy is looking for. The first thing is he wants to feel an expressive heart with intelligence. Why do I say it in that order? Because there's many women who are very intelligent and have a challenge expressing their hearts more and more. Why is that? By virtue of being alive in this world, sometimes you have to close your heart in order to advance, in order to not get hurt, in order to move forward after a heartbreak, or to prevent someone from going deeper than you want them to. So you probably have learned, if you're in this category of a professional, intelligent woman, you may have overlearned how to close your heart. And when that type of guy connects with you, he's looking not just for how amazing you are and how high your IQ is, He's looking to feel something from you, and if he doesn't feel that, all the intelligence in the world will not get him over the hump or the edge of committing more to a lifetime of more of not feeling enough. Second thing he's looking for is he's looking for a woman who's open and has boundaries. Why? Because if you're open, if you are sensual, for example, if you're expressive, and at the same time you have boundaries, the fact that you're Sensual doesn't mean that he's gonna get a chance to have sex with you the first date he can ex with you So having the capacity to express and say this I find you attractive and I Don't have sex on the first date or a second or a third date. I, I need to connect get to know you more develop friendship and If we develop exclusivity, then I might be open. I'm, I'm open to that That's something that a guy who is a virtuous man who has a noble character who has the capacity to delay gratification will find incredibly valuable because that means that you have standards and you're higher value in his eyes than someone who doesn't. What will a player do? A player will try to convince you that you're wrong, that you're too close, that you're not leaving life to the edge, that you're, you only live once and all that bullshit. So if you find that you can open, you can learn to be more open but have specific boundaries, you'll have a much greater chance of attracting the kind of man I'm speaking about right now. What's the next thing he's looking for? He wants a woman who's confident and has humility. If you notice, there's gonna be a couple of things that sometimes don't seem like they go hand in hand, but they do. Why? Because if you're confident in who you are, you're confident in your body, you're confident in your intelligence, your confidence in yourself, and at the same time, you're not cocky about it. You're not feeling better than anyone else. You have a humble heart to know that there's things you haven't learned, there's things you can get better at, there's things that he might be better at than you. If you are that type of woman who can combine those two things, humility and confidence, then again, you have an edge over those who either don't have confidence or have confidence but don't have the capacity to be humble in life. Next virtue combination that he's looking for, he's looking for someone who's vulnerable and has ownership of her emotions. What does that mean? Well, there's gonna be vulnerable uh, human beings who can express their pain, their challenges, in the form of drama, meaning they want to make others feel pain because they have felt pain. They want to use their pain as an excuse not to move forward instead of saying, here's what I've gone through, here's where I am right now, I own my pain and it's hot, challenging and I can do this, I can move forward. You could have had the experience of being in pain and still learn from it and express it and have a sense of ownership of what is your share, if any, of the responsibility in what took place. Sometimes there's nothing, it's just something happened to you, and sometimes there's some part of you that, that, that is you. And if you can own that, that increases your value, not just for a guy, for yourself. Next combination of virtues that he's looking for, he's looking for kindness 
and self-respect at the same time. What does that mean? Well, there's women who are very kind and compassionate and nurturing and because they don't have that strong boundary, they do not experience self-respect. They overindulge in kindness. They give him too many chances. They're not clear about when he's being disrespectful because they want to be empathetic and maybe justify in themselves that he's being that way because he experienced some pain, therefore it's justified. Sometimes it's not justified. You can understand that somebody's gone through pain, but it's not justified for him to be disrespectful to you. So if you can have the combination of kindness, compassion, and self-respect, again, you increase your value in his eyes because it takes a lot more courage to be able to go the distance of opening your heart and still say, here's how far I'm willing to go versus opening your heart and let someone uh, punch you as a punching bag. The last one that I'll share with you today, there's more, that can really help you to express the greatness in you to that type of man is sensuality with standards. Sensuality with standards means that you're able to feel your body, feel your senses, express emotion, connect to your sexuality, and have standards. Standards as to who you express yourself to, standards as to how soon it takes for you to express yourself to someone, standards in terms of what is it that you expect of him if you're gonna share yourself, your body, your soul that way. So if you have a combination of you're sensual, you're expressive, and you have standards, again, you are more of a one-of-a-kind human being that will, he will feel identified with. I'm gonna share with you a little story of what took place uh, a couple of years ago, I had the opportunity to connect with someone who reached out for help to me. Her name is Christy. And it's a very professional, incredibly intelligent woman who had gone through a divorce. And the challenge she was facing is that she was very smart, very knowing of what she wanted, and unable to get that message across to the right guy in a way that he would step up and do the work and pursue her and commit to her, right? So why was this happening? The biggest reason why this was happening is because she understood things intellectually. That the first thing I shared with you, she had intelligence, her heart was not as expressive as it needed, as it needed to be. So what we worked on primarily was for, to allow her through months of work, to allow her to express her heart with boundaries in a clear, more unrestricted way so that the right guys found her irresistible, found her so endearing and so appealing and so magnetic, not because she was trying to become someone she's not, but because she was being her true self. All the things she had pushed down, she learned to express with the right boundaries so that she didn't have to be disrespected and she could still get the right dynamic, the right polarity, the right attraction with the guy that she's interested in being with. And she's been in an amazing relationship ever since. So why am I sharing this with you? Because if you find that this work is helpful, insightful to you, I'm gonna ask you to ask yourself a question. If you are someone who's been watching my videos or my videos and somebody else's videos, there's two possibilities. One is that you're getting better and that you're getting the relationship you want. The other one is that you're understanding this intellectually, but it's not really resonating and taking change and effect in your life, right? Maybe you have the intelligence, but not yet the expressive heart that you need to in practice in order to get what you want. So if you want to go deeper on these topics, if you want to understand more about how to attract the kind of relationship you want, on the first link in the description of this video, you'll find um, a place where you can click on it and then be taken to a class that I created for you. All you have to do to access it is enter your name and email and you'll be redirected right away. If you like this video, click like or thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can get more videos like this one every week. Last but not least, if you're someone right now, if you're a human being, a woman who's saying, I get it, I understand what you're sharing, this sounds different, this sounds real, and I want your specific help, there's another link under the description of this video that will allow you to apply to see if we can work together and have direct feedback, accountability, and hand-holding through this entire process. Thank you so much for connecting with me. As always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.